soya bean also known as golden bean miracle crop the grain of golden prosperity has continued to occupy the premier position among the oil seed crops grown in india for two decades the crop has already transformed the rural economy of india in the past soya bean not only contributes significantly to vegetable oil economy but also earns valuable foreign exchange for the country soya bean has immensely contributed to the socio-economic upliftment of millions of small and marginal farmers of central india bringing smiles to countless faces though commonly known as oil seed crop it is an excellent source of quality protein the plants also bear root nodules which contains bradyrhizobium japonicum bacteria who synthesize atmospheric nitrogen and enrich soil fertility the crop has witnessed an unparalleled history of area expansion no other crop in the world has ever witnessed the area under soya bean in india has also increased remarkably it was merely 30000 hectares during 1970s which touched about 12.5 million hectares nowadays but all of this didn't happen in a day the icar indian institute of soya bean research or iisr an institute located in the city of indore was established by indian council of agricultural research the institute has been providing leadership in the research and development activities especially the basic and strategic research since its inception in 1987 however the journey of soya beans began way back in 1967 with the launch of the multi location all india coordinated research project on soya bean during this period remarkable achievements have been made in the development of soya bean varieties technologies and agronomic practices the challenges were many but soya bean has established an integral part of the cropping system due to the concerted efforts of farmers soya scientists and extension workers of the oil seed federation and the state agricultural department of madhya pradesh and the favorable support received from the soy industries usa brazil argentina china and india are the major soya bean growers in the world However the productivity of soya bean in India is comparatively less the core reasons are being a short duration rain fed crop it is exposed to the vagaries of monsoon unavailability of quality seeds and other inputs in time yield losses due to insects like green semi looper tobacco caterpillar gram pod borers in addition to girdle beetle and stem fly losses due to infection of viral and fungal diseases like yellow mosaic virus charcoal rot anthracnose aerial blight etc farmers lack of knowledge about improved technologies and practices and medium adoption and the crop is more popular as an export commodity less dependence on the domestic market The ICAR IISR is ready to address these challenges in a systematic way. ICAR established IISR at Indore in the year 1987, initially as National Research Center, which was upgraded to Directorate in the year 2009. Appreciating the difficult task of establishing the crop in the native cropping system, and its popularization among the farmers of central india the icar designated it as the indian institute of soya bean research in the year 2016 The major soya bean growing states in India are Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Karnataka and Telangana where the area under soya bean is increasing rapidly. 
now is the time to take the golden bean to the next level utilizing this golden bean as a vehicle for rural upliftment both for the socio economic as well as nutritional security and we know the way over the years we have set up a rock solid infrastructure to help us meet our mandate the icar iisr has a state of the art laboratories for conducting innovative research on frontier areas like biotechnology seed technology biochemistry transgenic and tissue culture the laboratories for path breaking research on physiology agronomy soil science entomology and pathology a modern library with reference books national and international journals software and cd database etc computer cell with local area network with high speed broadband 42.7 hectares well mechanized cultivable farm area technology park at the institute building as well as farm and agri business incubation center iisr coordinates research activities under three interconnected heads crop improvement crop production and crop protection the institute is also hosting a headquarters for 33 centers spread over 19 states for coordinating the multi locational trials under the all india coordinated research project on soya bean countless man hours spent in undeterred systematic research have led to this unprecedented success saga focused hard work of scientists has started bearing fruit iisr has a stock of more than 5500 germ plasm accessions which include indigenous exotic and wild type collections these are conserved evaluated and analyzed for desirable traits like higher yield more oil content resistance to biotic factors like weeds insects and diseases and capability to fight adverse situations like drought excessive rainfall water logging and photo insensitivity iisr has identified such sources and are regularly used in the breeding program remarkable headway in the identification of qtls responsible for commercially important traits like seed longevity oil and protein content and high oleic acid content for increased shelf life pioneering work has been done for the development of resistant varieties for major fungal and viral diseases including yellow mosaic using molecular techniques The institute has got breakthrough in the development of food grade soya bean varieties. More than 175 soya bean varieties suited to different agroecological conditions have been developed and released for cultivation in India through the AICRPS system. Location specific production technologies have been developed, standardized and recommended for different regions of the country. This includes efficient and more profitable cropping systems, tillage practices and integrated management of nutrients and water as well as pests. Path breaking research on intercropping with pigeon pea and maize for instance has been developed demonstrated and validated in the farmers fields the iisr has successfully demonstrated the in situ moisture conservation methods such as planting on bbf or ridge and furrows especially suitable under the changed and adverse climatic situations experienced more frequently nowadays Methods for integrated management of weeds have been developed, standardized and recommended, which include cultural methods, intercultural operations and use of herbicides. IISR has isolated and evaluated indigenous root nodulating rhizobia and also standardized method for its on-farm multiplication methods. The IISR scientists have recently developed a liquid biofertilizer containing 
microorganism consortia for the synthesis of nitrogen, phosphorus and zinc solubilizing bacteria. The same is commercially made available through the Agribusiness Incubation Center of IISR. Insect pest control is a major issue of concern in soya bean. The IISR scientists have developed and standardized integrated pest management schedules which include agronomic management, use of tolerant varieties and biological and chemical control of insects and diseases. The use of insect attractant trap crops like suwa and marigold is a novel method developed and standardized by the IISR for the control of caterpillars. IISR has also developed technology for the management of diseases, which also includes a seed treatment formula called FIR, recommended as a preventive measure. The institute is making use of modern drone technology and its promotion of a spray of plant protection chemicals. We have also developed mobile app and many web-based softwares specially useful for soya bean stakeholder along and sought many copyrights. IISR has also developed BBF seed drill, FIRB seed drill, subsoiler and several other farm implements to help aid the mechanization of agricultural operations already contributing enormously towards the socio-economic upliftment of millions of small and marginal farmers of central India Soya bean is all set to play its pivotal role in providing nutritional security to its masses. IISR scientists have done pioneering work in the development of food grade or specialty soya bean, including varieties free from anti-nutritional factors like cunid strypsin inhibitor and lipooxygenase 2. The institute has provided leadership in the development of food grade varieties and has succeeded in the release of NRC 127, first KTI free variety, and NRC 132, first lipooxygenase 2 free variety of India, specially for those who do not like beanie flavored soy products. The recently released food grade soya varieties NRC 142, NRC 150, NRC-152 and NRC-181 also have high yield that have been released and demonstrated on farmers' fields and are becoming popular among the farmers. The institute has also developed vegetable type NRC-188 varieties suitable for central India. The technologies and knowledge so generated are disseminated among the farmers using a variety of approaches and methods for transfer of technology. Conduct of on and off campus as well as online training programs for farmers and extension professionals. Laying out frontline demonstrations on farmers' fields, organization and participation in field day, agricultural exhibition come farmers' fair. IISR is making use of popular social media channels like WhatsApp, Telegram, YouTube, Facebook page, Twitter handle and Instagram. The IISR YouTube channel hosts innovative programs on weekly soya bean advisory, interaction with soya farmers and scientists as Soya Samvad and a news bulletin ICAR Madhya Bharat Samachar is quite popular among the stakeholders. The institute also disseminates timely information on soya bean using popular mass and electronic media like All India Radio and Television, leading newspapers and farm magazines. In addition, we also publish and distribute extension literature like bulletins, pamphlets and folders etc. on a variety of topics. Soybean is a very important crop in all aspects. If you see as an oil seed crop as well as a protein rich crop, its demand is increasing, its area is increasing. It's still, as you have seen in this prior part of this film, that so many work has been done through the research being conducted at this Indian Institute of Soybean Research. Still, there are so many challenges, particularly due to this climate change. We have the 
problems regarding biotic stress, diseases, insect pest, weed, and then abiotic stresses which are equally important if you see the drought spells and similarly kind of water longing many times we face. So to face these challenges and to provide the solutions for these challenges, our institute is working and our efforts are in the direction to put the resistance against all these biotic and abiotic stresses in the plants and the variety which we are developing as well as we are equally giving the importance to the agronomic practices, the management part. So how to harvest more yield per unit area and to increase the total soybean production in the country. The institute has given momentum to take this golden crop to new heights. Soya bean is all set to be the most happening crop of all time and we, the members of the IISR family, are all ready to make it to happen with dedicated efforts. The IISR has taken up the R&D in soya bean to all new levels, transforming the socio-economic reality of the marginalized farmers. The golden bean of prosperity is here to stay.